case studies on this. You know, the Cochrane collaboration, that's who looks at all the studies, picks the best ones, and then comes up with an evaluation based on the best studies. They say fish oil, yeah, not good. This one says it may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. Not according to Cochrane. It actually says it does nothing. It actually may even increase it. Oh, even in certain big C's, it could actually increase. Here's why. Because we hear the dangers of seed oils and how fragile they are, and they are. Every processed food, yeah, I wouldn't eat seed oils and processed food absolutely too fragile. They get denatured and they become inflammatory. But wait a minute, guess what? Fish oil is more fragile. It has more double bonds. The more double bonds, the more fragile. EPA and DHA, five and six double bonds. Seed oils, two and three double bonds. So absolutely, olive oil, more stable. One double bond, monosaturated. That's the number of double bonds. Butter, lard, and tallow, zero, zero double bonds. That's why you can fry in it. It takes the heat. The more double bonds, the more fragile it is. Fish oil.